Six years ago, I started my journey at MIT. My 18-year-old self didn't know what I wanted to do, but at least I thought I was in the best environment for me to learn and grow. Now looking back on my time at MIT, I think I was right. I will be one of the greatest, that is a vow, yeah, that is a promise. Always wanted to be famous, just being real, yeah, just being honest. My haters won't always be nameless, give them no cloud, I give them no power. Creators built different than ancient, sooner than later, I will be ours. I keep an eye out for the numbers, I stay in contact, synchronization. To infinity, even beyond it, I am a common, no destination. A lot of things I am above, and there are a lot of things that are above me. Do not come for the people I love, cause then I get scary, then I get old. About a month ago, at this point, MIT had its two years postponed graduation. Graduation has made me feel retrospective. When I look back on my time at MIT, the first things that I think about aren't the cleanliness of the dorms or how cold the winters were or how long each problem set took. They're the good times and the struggles with my friends. They're the intramural basketball games. They're the feelings of appreciation for all of the mental and academic challenges that MIT gave me which in turn gave me the confidence to tackle any future challenges that come my way in life. Looking back, I'm just so appreciative of the challenging but also very loving environment that MIT was. It was one of those things where everyone experienced the struggles and the tough times, so most students were very compassionate and understanding when you had yours. The people around me all cultivated a we're in this together sort of attitude, where we made sure that there was no person left behind in our journey that was MIT. Yes, I think MIT is really hard to get through, but I also believe that it's at that level of difficulty and that pressure that made me the confident and knowledgeable person I am today. And through graduation events, I got to see how my friends and classmates were thriving in their own ways. They're already a couple of years into their careers, and honestly, it was just so great to see. I need to make sure to give credit to the people that were the reason why I got through my time at MIT. Without them, there would be no way, and I mean no way, that I would have been able to succeed. And for them, I'll be forever grateful. You gave me a shoulder when I needed it. And you'll never know how much you helped me. You showed me love when I wasn't feeling it. Thank you for giving me that strength. You helped me fight when I was giving in. Honestly, sometimes it was tough to smile. And you made me laugh when I was losing it. So thank you. Cause you are, you are the reason why I'm still hanging on. Cause you are, you are the reason why my heart is still above water. And if I could, I got you the most. And then it's in you. And if I was coming. You are more like family to me than best friends. You are the support system and the voices of reasons I needed. You are why I continue to push hard even when I feel like life sucks sometimes. You are the reasons why I will always cherish my time at MIT. Something else that graduation made me feel was just so proud. So capable, and honestly ready to take on any obstacles that come my way. MIT was tough, but I did that. MIT was challenging, but I overcame that.
MIT put me in a pressure cooker environment, and I blossomed from that. No matter what anybody says about me, and no matter what their preconceived notions are about me, I know what I did, and I know what I achieved. And for those reasons, I'm immensely proud. I'm proud of myself for not only sticking the course, but for challenging myself even more by taking other classes outside of major, by trying to maintain my social relationships, for continuing to play basketball, and for getting this channel to this point while doing everything else I just mentioned. Like, wow. Graduation made me really take a step back and be like, I really did that. And that's just a great feeling to have. Hopefully anyone listening to this will soon understand that people say life is a journey for a reason. That you're going to have your ups and downs. But as terrible or as incredible you feel in any one moment, what you'll really take out of that situation is how much you've changed, whether that's good or bad. And my frame of thought is that as long as you stay true to yourself, every situation within a broader journey will lead to growth. Failures are learning opportunities that you can grow from. Triumphs are also learning opportunities that you can grow from. But going away from your ethics or your morals will only do you a disservice and may in fact negate some of your accomplishments. You're capable right now to take the steps towards your goals. So the real question is, what's stopping you? Something else that graduation made me feel was hungry for more. As Kobe once said, job's not finished, so what's there to be happy about? Jokes aside, there's clearly plenty to be happy about, but there's also plenty of opportunities to look forward to, from potential business ventures to more visible roles. I want to explore different avenues in life. I can't see myself at one company for decades. Frankly, I can't see myself working for someone else for my whole life. The world continues to change so quickly and I hope to be a part of the various waves that sweep by. That's why I continue to learn more and more every single day. And for all of you watching, that's why I continue to recommend Skillshare. I've been a Skillshare member now going on my fourth year. I initially joined Skillshare to take classes on video editing, Photoshop, and other creative skills that I felt like I needed to hone for this channel. But I've since been pleasantly surprised by the different fields that Skillshare classes hit now. Obviously, Skillshare still has incredible video and photo editing classes, but recently, as I've entered early adulthood, I've also become very interested in the more financial and business side of things. I recently took the class Starting a Successful Side Hustle by Ali Abdal, because I'm one to always have various side hustles and income streams going on at once. And to learn tips directly from one of the kings of side hustles himself was really insightful. Join me on Skillshare and DM me some pictures of what you create. The first thousand people to use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare and huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Graduation made me more motivated than ever before. I feel like it has definitely reminded me that I have a bigger purpose in life and it's my job to have as positive of an impact as I possibly can on this world. I continue to make videos because I know I can help others by giving them honest recollections and advice from my experiences. And career-wise, I hope to gain enough knowledge and experience to one day create and lead others at a company of my own. MIT was much more than the classes that I took. I think sometimes that gets overlooked when people put multiple schools against each other, is the people that you'll be studying with. Yes, math is math no matter what. I think something that gets overlooked when people put multiple schools against each other is the people that you'll be studying with. Yes, math is math no matter where you are. But when you're in an environment with people who strive to break the molds of what we think are possible, your own perception on what's possible changes. My goals become loftier and my motivation became stronger. Now I weirdly do feel as if there's no challenges I can't overcome. I know that I just need to continue to move forward and that things will start falling into place. And although I definitely am still hungry for more and more motivated than ever to make a positive impact on the world, Graduation has also made me feel, in some ways, content. I'm living in this great apartment here in Boston. I'm fortunate enough to be able to go to the Boston Sports Club Equinox pretty much every day. 
And even if I work a lot on both my main jobs and my side hustles, I still find plenty of time to enjoy the little things in life. Through Michelle, I now have even more family. Through my various endeavors, I've found more connections. And I'm just really happy and grateful for that. What's next for me is that I'm going to continue to work as hard as I can, within reason of course, to make the differences that I can on this world. In the meantime, I will also make sure that I take occasional steps back to really take in everything that life has to offer me. To my subscribers who have been following me for the past five years or so, just know that my journey has only begun. So if you want to come along for this ride, you won't be disappointed. Thank you all so much and enjoy some clips from the past month or so. Verdict can't make friends. Pray for better days. Now it's 300k when my day ends. Do you remember last night? Cause I blacked out in that all white dress with a back out. Said be careful with a heart cause it's fragile. And thinking about a past make a lash out. See what me and ain't no worries at all. Any problem I be there in one call. If we locked in, you my dog. Fanny, you hang pictures on my wall. Roll one, let's get hot tonight. Backseat made back lavish life. Stars like a satellite, AP on my arm and it's shining bright.